Yo guys, here's the end of the video, and today I am presenting you the top 5 drift cars in Forza Horizon 3. Since I'm terrible drifting, all the drifting footage is by GT Nismo Kings, uh, also Season 5 and Season 6 winner of FD. The first car here is the third generation RX-7, uh, the FC that is. Uh, really, it's, it's obviously just the rotary, really good car uh, in general, gets a lot of angle. Uh, once again, Nismo Kings is drifting here because I cannot drift, so... Uh, I thought I would get someone who was good at drifting to show off these cars, but I, I'm i not a huge fan of the FC, I'm more of a fan of the FD, uh, but the FC is definitely a uh, really good drift car though, uh, but uh, yeah, just looking at the footage here, it gets a great amount of speed here in second, third gear, and you can really take the corners uh, really quickly, which is uh, definitely good if you bring tandems uh, to have that as well, and it keeps the whole angle the whole time as you can see you can go from clipping point to clipping point. Uh, number four here is the RX-7 FD. I'm more a fan of this one, especially with the body kit on it. Once again it's kind of the same thing, it slides around a whole lot, like it really slides and that's what I like about it. It's It slides almost like it's all-wheel drive. Uh, I don't know why, but it does and it, I just love the sound on it too. It's very versatile. You don't have to be good a drifter to use this, uh, which is probably why a lot of you are watching this video. Uh, but I mean, it has the looks, has the sound, has the speed, and it definitely gets the angle. You can see like the wheels spin in the straight line, and you can just get so much angle out of this thing. Like I can't stress that enough. Uh, and it's apparent in both of the RX-7 because it's all the SC and the FD. Uh, just like Nismo here, I do prefer the FD over the FC, uh, but yeah, that's this one in number 4 position, both JDM cars, uh, yet again, as we go over here to number 3 car on our list, the Toyota Supra, and he chose not to have the wing on here, uh, I like the wing on here, but it's all good, as you can see, the, the ability to snap on and snap off, as you see, like, you can just go from one clipping point and just completely turn it around. It has, I mean, if you know what I'm trying to say here, uh, it's a really snappy car, you throw it in, and it sticks, and as long as you don't make a mistake, it will stick, and that's, I mean, I'm even good at drifting this car, uh, come on, I'm not even good at drifting, but you can, I mean, like, I mean, that's a huge degrees right there, that is huge, and um, i say it again, the angle is very important in drift cars, this one definitely has it, but it's a lot different than the, uh, RX-7, it's, harder to drift I think because of how like how uh, agile it is to drift which is a good thing and a bad thing it's more for experienced drivers but a beginner can use it it it's, doesn't make sense at all uh, next one here is the S13 now we do have some tandem gameplay here S13 is definitely one of my favorite drag cars or drift cars my bad uh, it's one of the first I started off with it's probably the easiest because it doesn't have the highest of horsepower and basically anybody can drift this car with the high camber tune uh, it's really i don't know what it's the back wheels they they just get out so easily to where it's almost like you don't even have to use a whole lot of the e-brake you kind of as nismo is doing keep it at the high revs and just turn e-brake every now and then clutch drop the clutch every now and then uh, tap and who knows but once you throw it in you're kind of good just counter steer away with this thing and that's why I really love uh, the S13 here the 240SX whatever you want to call it definitely one of my favorites one of my favorites is actually the CVR uh, Cigaris but uh, this one is definitely on top of the list of the best drift cars and it's JDM gets the design and yeah uh, on to number one it is the RJ Anderson uh, very weird but it's crazy if you get it right. I mean, just look at this. If you can get this thing right, it has to be one of the most fun drift cars. Uh, I've actually tried this once, which is kind of funny when I laughed at Nismo when he sent me this. I'm like, hey, I tried this once before too. Uh, but he did way better than I did. Uh, that's obvious. Look, it can tandem as well. Even though the thing is huge, it can tandem. And it's got 1,200 horsepower, he said. Look at that. I mean, it, it doesn't even look right at all. It just doesn't look right. It looks like 
I mean, it's like a quartz regalia drifting. It doesn't make sense at all, but it's just how it is. And it's huge. It works. It, I mean, it definitely has the speed. It can keep up. The angle, because of the size, don't let it fool you, but the angle is actually really big on this. Uh, you know, it might not look like it. You can definitely tell by looking at telemetry. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, again, thanks to Dismal Kings for saying this in. That's the end of this video. See you guys next time. That's the Top 5 Drift Cars.